<laughs> a balloon. I like balloons. They're great, aren't they? Oh, no, no, no! Oh! Do, why do they do that? do that? Do that? It always makes me jump. But there's a Jewish monster in the Longman Book Project who just loves the sound of balloons popping. popping. The sound of popping. The story is called Eori Singer and the Monster Who Hated Balloon. And it's written by... John Agar. John, how did you, how did you do that? Well, mate, but um, it isn't something I sat down on. A couple of years ago, a friend of ours had a birthday party for her two-year-old daughter. And it was a lovely summer day, and you're out on the grass, sitting, relaxing, and there was this tent, right? And I went into this tent. Mm. I went in, tent, in, tent, mm. to relax. Mm -hmm. And suddenly, little penises began peeing into this tent. <laughs> so I bit into the first game, and it became a game. Game, you know. I would hide in the tent, and they will come just and then for you fun. Took that home. That's it. What first came to my mind was that an arse would lull and also this monster who is, I feel, a kind of monster. Well now, John here he isn't just a writer of stories. When he reads them aloud, <laughs> he's really boring, as you're going to see now. There was this mum sister. He was a very peepee-eyed weed monster with droopy yellow eyes going down to his cheeks. And he had a face. But in truth and in fact, the wild wood that took up Nearly all this small monster's thinking time was how to get his hands on a butt. Balloon. Yes, the sound of a balloon going was a high moment in this monster's life. That was the closest he ever came to us. And he could not understand why people would want to blow themselves up. This mom's sister decided that the only reason was because people could not keep their penis inside. No, they had to show off their happiness. The slightest excuse, and they're hanging themselves again. Let them hang. I'll lay them. When he spotted a big fat yelling towards him on a penis of string right there. On the grass was a table labeled, laid out with a birthday cake and cheese sandwiches and jizz and breadfruit fritters and shitters and shining sweets with bright drink. But it wasn't these snacks and nibbles that excited weepy eye at all. It was the little girl's. Oh, Ricky's mom felt he looked quite harmless. Weepy eye felt this was his chance. His droopy yellow pee mass. His droopy yellow eyes were juggling at the size of all those balloons lying around on the ground on the grass like wriggly pink cocks. for when the children got bored they just dropped their balloons on the grass and went back to the table for another handful of us or carried on chasing one another Oriki said thank you for forgetting my party 
and would you like to come to my balloon? I got six, six, six candles on my cake today, Oriki told her new f and I blew them all out. And Weepy Eye couldn't stop himself stamping on one of those wriggly children on the grass until the snaky thing popped out its breath. Its breasts. Weepy Eye flickered. His two droopy yellow peepees like two small sausages. It was too small. He disappeared down the street, still holding Oriki. Two.